What's good? We're back in this thing. Boys, I got the absolute juice today. This technique and effect is going to take your music video to the next level as far as texture and just adding that extra depth to your music video to make it more interesting and just whole. We're going to be going over this visual synth effect that you can add on after you're done editing a music video to take it to like that next step where it's like done and then just really complete. I'm going to show you how I would do it and just like some techniques to make it look really, really good. If you're interested in that, sit back, relax, click like, and we're going to get into the video. All right. So now that we're in Premiere, I want to show you how I'd use this effect on an already edited music video to take it to that next step and just make it a little bit more entertaining and add a little bit more transitions. It's a really simple way to add extra transitions without really any extra work. So I'll show you what that looks like and how to do that. So you can see it's just this quick CRT looking effect with the synth bending of the colors and the CRT lines and it just looks crazy, especially if you have some transitions and stuff already going on throughout your music video really can help you take your music video to the next level. You, like even if I were to drag out this adjustment layer just to a normal clip with no effects on it or anything, you can see how it takes that title screen. Not saying that this is a bad title screen or anything, but it just makes it a little bit more interesting in some aspect and you can have it cut in and out just how a visual synth would do. And I think it looks crazy. Like, look at that. So for this effect, you're going to want my thermal pack and my CRT pack. If you go to my website, briandelmata.com, I'll have it linked in the description. Click shop now. You'll be able to see the thermal pack and the CRT pack. I'm going to open up both of them real quick and you can choose what editing software you want, Premiere Pro or After Effects. I recommend getting both because I have tutorials on both. You can do this effect in both. So whatever editing software you're using, you'll easily be able to switch between. So go ahead and when you add the CRT pack and the thermal pack to your cart and use the code SYNTH at checkout, I'll give you a little special discount code for supporting and making it this far into the video. The thing is you can use these packs for way more looks than just this effect that I'm doing. I'd highly suggest you just go through the website, see what these packs have to offer. They're both really simple to use and you can get some really unique looks with them. If you go through the website, you'll be able to see that. I also have other tutorials on these packs on my website. So basically with this effect, what you do is as soon as you're done with your music video, and it's edited, I would render it out probably completely and then reopen it up in Premiere and then just take these effects and the video just, just as transitions. Let's do a transition right here where I've marked out. So if you already had the effect done and you had your stylized effect that you wanted, you could literally just highlight both of these adjustment layers, hold alt and drag it over here and just duplicate it. I'll show you how to do the effect in just a second, but I want to show how easily it could be replicated throughout the whole music video. And I would just go and render this out. And just like that, you have that visual synth look. I would add some kind of flashes to transition through, and I'll show you that in a second. But I just want to show how you can get these crazy synth looks with the CRT look by just adding two adjustment layers, just like that. You can see you've got the crazy color distortion in the sky and down here. But let's go and break down how to do this actual effect. So first off, you want to start off in the project tab, right click on it and go to new item and create an adjustment layer. Click OK and then drag that into your timeline. And then I'm actually just going to hold Alt on my keyboard and duplicate that into two separate layers. One's gonna be for the CRT and then one's gonna be for the thermal. That way there's a little bit of separation and when you use it this way, it'll just look a lot better, trust me. So first what I would do is I would find the CRT that you're looking for. In my CRT pack, you can see I have a bunch of different options. I have a flicker preset and then a bunch of different CRT looks that are gonna give you unique looks depending on what you're looking for. We could just drag on a few to show you the CRT checkered, I'm a fan of. It's simple. It looks good. I think it just adds that little bit of extra CRT look to it. Simple is also a good one. It's kind of just the most basic looking one. I think it, it takes a lot. I think it makes it look good. And then thick bars, if you really want like that, like super grungy look, I think that looks good with the thermal pack as well. You can go through them all. They're all just going to give you different looks and it's just drag and drop. You can see how the color distortion ones, green distortion looks really good. The pixelated, if you really want some kind of look that, you know, is really kind of grungy and old and distorted looking, they're all going to do different things. And I kind of just designed ones that I thought looked good. So there's, so there's a good selection. I think there's like right around 25 different looks. Let's keep it with the simple. I think simple looks good on this one. And that's all you do for that adjustment layer. So for the bottom adjustment layer, I'm going to drag on some of the thermal pack presets that I have from my pack. And we could see ones that we like and think look good. They're all going to be depending on what you think looks good. And it's personal preference. That's why I designed 25 of them with four different looks each. You can see here each pack has four different looks. So you can turn on the inverts and you'll get a bunch of different looks depending on what you're going for. And right now it does look really aggressive. And what I do to kind of take that and make this look like it's CRT visual synth glitch, you go to the blending mode on the adjustment layer with a thermal pack. And I like to play around with the light and screen color dodge, linear dodge, add lighter color, all these. You can even go with overlay. There's a bunch of different options. Basically, the blending modes are really going to take that thermal pack preset and make it look like a visual synth. I think color dodge are really good ones. There's 
it's really just depending on your clip and the thermal preset you use itself. I think the overlay with this one looks good, but I actually want to find a different look. I want something a little bit more eye-catching. So let's go through a few of them and see what we're looking. I like Molten. That's the one I had on earlier. I feel like Molten's one of my favorite ones out of the preset pack. There's a bunch of different options. Just go through them all. The pack was basically designed to give you as many different looks as possible really quickly. So you can just drag them on. And then if you find one that you like, maybe I personally like this right here. This looks good. But let's go and just go through a few more just to showcase what you can really do with this pack by just dragging it on. Let's go dark rainbow. I like how colorful and crazy this is. And let's see if any other blending mode I like particularly more. So what I normally do is I find like a color scheme that I like on a specific blending mode. Normally I turn it to linear dodge and then add, and then I'll go through the blending modes after kind of see which ones I think look best with each thermal pack. And it all depends on your clip as well. Like here, if the color, if the clip was a little bit lighter, maybe overlay would look good, but since they have some dark areas, I think you lose out on a little bit of that CRT look. So let's stay. I think I think screen looks good here. I like screen. And you can change the opacity as well if you wanted something a little less noticeable. I like when it's like powerful and in your face. So let's keep it at 100. Then once you add on that thermal effect and the CRT pack together, render it out and you got something like that. I like how it cuts in and out. I think it rides out for a little bit too long in my opinion. It's all just personal preference and it's all going to come down to what you think looks good. Another thing I would do just to add a little bit of extra like dynamic to the effect itself is add, I would add on another adjustment layer and maybe go two frames after and two frames before or something like that. It's, it's all really dependent on what you like. And then I would add on some brightness and contrast just to have a little bit of a flash. You can also add other overlays or whatever you have. If you have some film burns, I would add on some film burns or something just to kind of have that flash pop through. It is really good when you do have the film burns already in the music video. So for example, if you edited the full music video and pre-planned out when you were editing where you wanted these CRT effects to take place, you could add on film burns in the original music video and then have the CRT play over it. That way it just transitions a little bit smoother. We don't have that here. So let's add some brightness and some contrast. I did like 25 and 25. It's all gonna be dependent on what you think. And then let's go to the beginning of that. So like two frames to the right. So it just has like a quick brightness boost. And then we could probably reset it to zero right after that first frame. So it just gets bright for a second and then go right to before the last frame here. So right on the last frame, I'm gonna keyframe that brightness to go back up just a tad. I think it helps out brightness and contrast and then reset them both to zero, drag it to the last frame. This isn't gonna be something that's super noticeable, but I think it helps the transition kind of just transition a little bit better. And then, like I said, you can copy and paste this effect throughout your music video. So let's go and find a spot where it does have a film burn in the music video. So I can show you what, you're, what I was talking about. Let's find a spot, maybe something around here. I think there's a film burn somewhere. So you can see how there's already this transition. And if I drag this adjustment layer on it, it's just gonna take that effect and transition and make it look more unique. And like there's a, like there's a visual synth there. So you can see that fits really well. I personally would change the color of the thermal pack. What's green heat wave look like? It's just all just playing around with stuff. I think that looks pretty cool. And you can see here with the flashing transitions and everything, it just adds that little extra look to it. It's nothing super crazy, but I think it can take that music video and just make it a little bit more interesting. So basically the way I designed these two packs, the CRT pack and the thermal preset pack was designed to give you unique looks, but also kind of keep you in the limits. So you can kind of, so you can do things a lot faster. You can drag on that CRT pack and combine it with the thermal pack and go through the hundred different looks, but just by dragging them on instead of creating them yourself. So I think they're both really useful, especially when they're paired together like this. I do like them a little bit more in performance scenes and in the title sequence. I think I maybe just had it drag on for a little bit too long. I don't think it necessarily looks bad, but I probably wouldn't do it like that. But these two, I think they look super fire. And then over here, I think that one's my favorite. But yeah, guys, if you made it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate you. Like always, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. It really helps support my channel. If you wanted to snag the CRT and thermal pack that I use in this video, use the code synth at checkout for a little bit of a discount code when you're purchasing both. Be sure to follow me on social medias. I try to stay as active as I can on there. We're right about to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. And there might be a little secret surprise coming out when we do that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.